Hello guys, B-Boy Gamer here and welcome back to Hot Ryan 3 as Germany. So we're gonna start off where we left off. We just took Poland, which was pretty good. And right now we're displaying our troops and putting them on different fronts. Denmark, Netherlands, Yugoslavia, Romania, uh, Latvia, and all of those countries up here in the Baltic. I mean, there's a lot of stuff happening right now, but we're also gonna prepare for the invasion of France. But that will probably happen in maybe six months or so. We're gonna try to wait it out because it's a bit early to attack, I think. But we're actually gonna declare war on Denmark, hopefully, so we can take some provinces to the north. Because that will probably take some more time. So anyway, we're gonna kick it off and see what's happening. So we're having on a pretty high speed right now, like that. We're doing, doing good on resources as you can see. And let's see, possible to invade faction, Italy. So it's a time since I recorded this because I've had a lot to do and I've put a lot of time into making a lot of time lapses on Heart of Iron 3 which has been pretty good. And I've gotten a lot of views and a lot of likes and response on that, so I really like that. And yeah. I also tried to do a campaign on the Black Ice mod, but the problem is that I can't save without the game crashing. And when I finally succeed in saving and trying to reload that save file, I'm having some problems playing that, uh, uh, let's see, that uh, save. Because everything is uh, deleted and all that, so I have a big problem with the Black Ice. We're gonna have to wait until the hot fixing it or something like that. I'm gonna speed it up a bit more because it's going really slow right now. I have a lot of technology going on right now. Good luck. Okay, very good. Take this down a bit. Insufficient uh, research. Have it on submarines. Let's see. Submarines. That's on escorts. Very nice. So we can now get these. Let's see anything else that we should probably get? Not what I can see so far. We got some on escorts and capitals, but since I'm not gonna go do a lot of fleet battles against the British, I'm mostly gonna do an invasion on them and just crush them, then I don't really need it. So let's see here, our aircrafts are trying to take down the strategic bombers. Good that you're having your orders and take them out. Let's see here, no air intercepting, no orders. Okay, you're gonna try to intercept enemies in the area. Gonna have it on a circle formation, something like that. So if the enemy tries to attack, we're gonna try to take them out. So we're taking a lot of casualties on an escort, and we're really low on transport and all of that, but I don't really care. I mean, let's see here. Naval map mode. I mean, I'm only sending stuff to, let's see, is that Canada? No, America, and some countries up over here, Mexico and Ecuador. And we're having, well, we're having some here. Between uh, Porsche and Germany and Ostpreisen, but we're not really needing that right now. Can we take that away? Let's see here. Germany, Germany. No, does it see it like that? Okay, anyway, we're gonna keep it off like that. Okay, so how's it doing? How are you all doing? And I also got some comments on my. Well, my infantry of that, how I built them, and. I should have made them three infantry brigades and only one support team, seems like. So, these divisions are a bit small, some people think. And here, as you can see, I have light armor, armor car, engineers, and armor. Now, they can only drive at 6 km per hour, but I could have gone on 8 if I didn't have the armor brigade. So, I'm sorry for that. I will try to fix that in the future when I'm trying it. Let's see here. We're having the Waffen SS here. Very nice. Waffen SS, some armor car, and some engineers. Very nice, very nice. We should, should probably send our fleet to... I don't know. Ah, you can stay there. Okay, let's see. Where the fuck is my bombers and all that? Because I'm probably gonna need them. So we have our bombers here, same like. We have some close air support here, and we have the insiders here. Now, these are resting. I hope we're succeeding in taking down the enemies. Well, there's no bombings. That's a good thing. Okay, so, okay, aircraft carrier engine advance. Now, let's see what this shit is. Yeah, these are pretty old stuff. Actually, we're gonna take these ones off because we're not gonna aim a lot on 
Uh, the fleet. We're gonna move for move for the aircraft and the army. So let's see here. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm figuring out if I should do an invasion on Lithuania with this core here. Because the Soviet Union is gonna take this land soon and that will, will increase the front line a lot. But if I can take this here and hold the front line against the Soviet Union like this, all the way to Romania, that would be great. One more thing that I forgot is that I should probably try to get Italy to join. Let's see, I'm more with the allies. So if I tell them to join, they're probably gonna kick some arse in the south. Or gonna kick their arses themselves. So instead of just mucking around doing nothing, we're gonna try an invasion on Lithuania. So we're gonna have our forces put out, something like that. We're having two cores being sent to Denmark. I don't really think I need that much, but hey, hey, who the fuck cares? So let's see here. You move there. Have your core move there. Aircraft carrier hull. You can keep that on. Okay, so our course is starting to get things sent over here, it seems like. Seems like we have two Panzer cores. That's pretty good for being 1938 and being Germany. So how is all of this doing? Five cores on the OB West. I should probably make these into armies as well because the guards and stuff is telling me that I should well, not have the corps being sent to well, the OB West and OB East. I mean, I'm losing a lot on that. So we should probably make some armies out of these. But not now. Because these are already disturbing so much. I don't think you understand what, what I said there, but hey hey. Let's see you, we're gonna move out there. You're attached to OB East. You're attached to OB East. You're attached to OB East. And these are attached to OB East as well. These guys should probably be attached to OB West. Like that. So now we have all our forces. Into a hierarchy of troops. And I'm surprised that the French haven't started to attack my lines. I guess the forge out here is pretty good. Not that good. Landfort 1. Not really that good. Okay, how's it doing over here? The forces are moving out. So we're gonna send about 32,000 men to take Lithuania. They have a big army here, but I. Reckon it's only like army corps and all of that, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And they're not mobilized as well. Let's see, can I attack Denmark? Yes, I can. Surprised that I can do that. I'm thinking like this. I'm go probably going to tell Italy to join in 1939. And I will start my invasion on we the west at the same time. And during those six months that are coming, I'm going to try to take some Baltic states and... Landing in Scandinavia, so we can get some more stuff. Now, is there any resources in Norway? Yes, there are. There's some heavy water here, which I don't know what it does. We have some tungsten in Sweden. Ah, lovely Sweden. Where is Linköping? There we got it. Linköping, or Linköping, whatever you want to call him. There's energy in Norrköping. And of course, Stockholm. Yes. Enough about that. But there are more. We have some... Refineries in Romania. Let's see, we have... In Britain we have some antibiotics. And some... Ship facilities. Could be pretty useful. In Spain and Portugal we got some tungsten. And then there's a lot of stuff in the Soviet Union. Black soil and all of that. Gonna be nice stuff to conquer. So let's see here. And what am I supposed to do now? Yes, invasion! Okay, when are you prepared to invade? You know what? Okay, so we can't declare war when they're having transit rights. That's not good. Okay, you'll need to leave the country before I do that. And that will happen in a few hours. Like that. Now we can declare a limited war and we can... Let's see, what can we do? For too long, Lithuania has held provinces rightfully ours, we must retake them. We take our cores, or acquire territory the Baltic states, or conquer. And what about this retake cores? Is 
reckon if I guess these process here rightfully belongs to a Germany from the World War One. So I'm actually gonna try that out. Declare war, retake course. I do. Okay, so we're gonna have our forces moving up. No, not, not like that. For the north here, taking the coast. We're gonna have this force here moving a quick sweep all the way to the capital. Same with these here and these. And you are gonna swipe around. So let's see if I can see if there's any. Let's see, what is it called? Let's see. No. Victory points. Where can I find that? VP mode. Because we have one up here and we have the capital as well. So we're gonna have you move something like that. Yes. And we're gonna have the battles begin. The invasion of Lithuania. We will not allow the Russian scums in the east to take what is rightfully ours. Germany will grow strong again. We will become the superpower of the world. Okay, so how are you doing? Well, pretty quick, but not that quick. Three kilometers per hour, and we have attacked uh, cow now. I think it's called. Okay, so we have three divisions here and some reserves, and they're pulling back. Hopefully, we can get some forces there in time because we're taking some cash. This. Let's see, let's get a close air support over there. Motorized infantry, very nice. Gonna have good use on that. And then we're gonna bomb the shit out of the enemy. Yeah, they're taking heavy casualties. They're gonna break soon. Okay, you guys are really taking a pound in, so you should probably stop attacking. Let's see, count us. Okay, they're having two divisions, but they're quickly breaking. There's Pensnikal Brigata against the 23rd Infantry Division. Actually, took some organization losses. But not a lot of catch this. So keep the attack up and crush them. When you're done here, we're gonna sweep around and quickly move up there. And we're gonna have another division moving up soon, so we're not gonna have to worry about that. Submarine crew. Where is that? Okay, we got some stuff here. Now, I'm gonna take these ones off because I don't really need them. Mechanical computer machine industry. Mechanical computer. Where the hell is that? Oh shit, we got some pop ups. I'll take it when I'm done here. Herring. We got some stuff here. Advanced construction engineers. Radar. Nah. I probably should get some AA. Okay, let's see what we got here. We want the capital here. Let's see. Damage force at the Sudeten line of defense. Forces the Sudeten line took great damage when Germany annexed Czechoslovakia, and they were almost entirely destroyed. The few still remaining are in dire need of repairs before they can be used for defensive warfare again. We don't need that. I mean, we're not going to defend anything up here, so not really needed. Okay, are you about to surrender? No. They're actually going to hold on. And when we reach uh, the new capital, Yaniskils, or whatever it's pronounced, we're gonna succeed in taking their country. Okay, they're really taking my transport down. But I mean, who the fuck cares? Yeah, we have some Gebirgsjäger divisions. The first mountain core, or mountain core first. Why the hell am I calling that that? I have no clue. So we're gonna have our panzers moving up here, prepare for the Arden Offensive. I'm gonna have these divisions being put on the Netherlands front. The question is, I should probably wait for the invasion of Denmark for now. So let's see here, when will you arrive? 4th of July. Speed up a bit. Do it on speed 5. You're gonna get conquered really soon. Feel the wrath of the German Reich. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we got some provinces here. Not a lot. That's weird. So I've worried them. Okay, that's weird. They're an ally member, but I can't declare war on them. 
should probably have our forces to move around a bit. I mean, if they're trying to attack across their allies again, I mean, it could be really bad. Had to be ready for war. Okay, so now when that's done, we're gonna tell our close air support to move to the northern parts of Germany. Yes, I know. Units in poor supply. Wait, are they not supplying my men? Those motherfuckers. Okay, we're giving them military access. Why the hell are we giving them that? I don't know. Okay, granted. Let's see, Hungary. Where the hell are you? I have no clue. Yes, I know. Transport are getting sunk. I get it. Okay, let's take Denmark. Let's take this Pulitzer Princess. What the fuck? Okay, that's weird. Don't know what's happening here. Can I just take the capital and bam, they're done? Shoot, pretty easy. Okay, you have no supplies and I have no clue why I, can, why I can't move you. Okay, let's move our forces into the enemies. Let's move our forces somewhere like that. We're gonna have a Waffen SS moving up. Something like that. Okay, that's weird. Something like that. And you're gonna move up something like this. And you're gonna move up something like this. So all of Denmark will fall in a matter of hours. Spotting advance. Don't need that. Yes, I know we have won. Very nice, very nice. Let's take the capital already. Getting some nice experience I during these battles. We're regaining our organization really fast. Now I got something from my commenters, uh, one of my comments or viewers, and he told me that I should put my units on reserve when I'm uh, producing them. I'm gonna try that out. Let's see if we make like something like that and put them as reserves. Okay, so he's pretty right. I mean, dice is really going down and the manpower as well. So I should probably listen to my viewers, man. Okay, let's see. Have this one up. I'm not gonna take them to send. No. Okay, very nice. What the fuck? We have some Danish forces battling. Holy damn it. Okay. That went really fu fucking fast. But I mean, these forces move at 8 km per hour, so. I mean, look at that. These forces are gonna be useful when taking Russian ground. And he's pretty crushed. You guys haven't even moved over, man. What the hell? Should probably send my fleet over here. To intercept any Dan Danish uh, stuff. Hello? Move your fucking force to Kiel and start raiding after that. Okay, you move to Denmark. What the fuck? Patrol, okay. You wanna fuck me? Oh, I fuck you then. Okay, let's see. Vilnius. Why the hell? They're moving their fucking capital over and over again. I don't see why. Something like that. Take the land down here. Take it something like this. Move you over here. Move you over here. Quickly. Wow, their armies are really crushed. They barely have any units left. Wow. 210 loss, 12 losses, man. Okay, another HQ. Moving at 3 km per hour, pretty slow. Why am I moving slow, man? Must be my artillery. I'm anti tank as well. Anyway, where was I? Yes, the invasion of Fra uh, Denmark. I don't get it. Why can't I move my... Okay. Okay, now it works. 
Okay, we're gonna stand our fleet here, block the passage into the, well, into the Baltic Sea, I think it's called. Let's see, they're making their last resistance with 10,000 men. Taking some heavy catch, this an organization hits. We will soon win this war. Germany will rise. I have no clue why I'm losing so much organization to these guys. Should be an easy game. Okay, let's see Denmark. Okay, so we've landed our forces. We can take uh, two of our divisions and move them to... Okay, we can't do it like that. I guess we're gonna assault Copenhagen with our main battle force. 15,000 men are defending their country. Denmark will soon fall to the wrath of Germany. Copenhagen has fallen. Long live the country of... Uh, I don't know. Add war goal. Conquer. I do. Done. Hopefully I can conquer you really fucking soon. Otherwise, it is all for nothing. What the fuck? Okay, that's new. We have British soldiers inside Lithuania. So they've landed with a British task force to try and defeat me. Let's see here, Britain versus Germany. The 16th infantry division versus the 12th infantry. We have Major General Gudovius on skill 2 with the battle master and old guard and he's got some progress and Mutz... Mut but what? Mutz Mutzevsky? the fuck names their son Mutevsky okay sorry you guys that are named Mutevsky if there's anyone named that but why it's a weird name oh so we conquered Denmark and we actually have a what the hell we have a British fleet here question is can I get it Oh my god. Okay, no. We didn't get it. <coughs> Sorry for that. I'm having a bit of a cough. Weird. Why the hell are there British aircrafts? I mean, why? That's a like German ground. They're bombing the shit out of me. We're gonna force over here just to okay any kind of well any kind of something. Okay, another ten thousand men trapped and surrounded. Hopefully we're gonna crush them. And um, the Battle of Palanga was pretty easy, it seems like. Gonna make it even more easier by bombing the enemy. Take a port strike. I've never tried that before. See what will happen. If they're gonna get sent out. Now I have a question, why the fuck aren't they getting any, I mean, fuel or something like that? I mean, they're having problems to get the fuel, I mean, the resources and all of that. Let's see, where the hell is that supply map mode? Control of Greenland and Iceland. After the German occupation of Denmark in April 1940, British forces swiftly took possession of Iceland and the Faroe Island to counter a possible threat of a German invasion. Uh, okay. Whatever you say, Britain, you will still all die. Now, the question is should I hold this core here in the waiting of an invasion of Sweden? Or should I really invade Sweden? I mean, they have the tungsten, but I mean, there's a lot of tungsten on this map. I'm gonna have it sent to Denmark. I'm gonna have these forces getting moved or redeployed. What? Can I have one core get ready to move on Norway? If we attack Norway, of course. How are you doing? Pretty good. Port striking, the naval base and all that. They got pretty fucked. Okay, let's see here. The last of the British task force is getting crushed though. Lieutenant General Mustelis has fallen. And I'm getting a lot of experience from this. It's 
good for the future warfare against the Soviet Union. And they don't have anywhere to run, so they will fight to the end. Bam. Take this bloody place now so I can conquer... F I mean... Oh my god. Are you seriously? Are you kidding me? What the fuck want these guys to surrender, man? Finally! I'm forced to conquer. I'm gonna have... Uh, should I really conquer the rest? I mean... Should probably conquer Letland at least. Will give me a nice front against the Soviet Union. Maybe even take Estland as well, because taking Narva, I mean, it's not far from Leningrad. So when the war comes against them, it's gonna get a piece of cake to take them down. So we're gonna have our forces getting redeployed again and getting ready for war. I hope this will succeed. How many transports are left? Uh, not many. Shit. How's our... You know what? It's the year 1938 right now, so... You know, let's wait a bit for the joining of uh, Italy. Now, why the fuck do I have a core down here to fight Yugoslavia? I don't need that. I mean, I should probably put it more on the Western Front. So gonna have it as a reserve force if the frontier gets attacked. Which I don't hope because that would be pretty bad. Got some forces or something that we can redeploy. Oh, got some grenadiers. And the question is where should I put them? Where do I have the. Let's see where. Where the fuck is it? Revolution map. Oh, there. Okay, so as you can see, we have some problems in Czechoslovakia, and a small problem in Poland, not a lot. Wow, that's where a lot of grenadiers. Okay, let's see, have one stationed here, one stationed here, one stationed here. That should probably be enough to station off that. Can I have one station in Danzig, one station there. Wait a minute. How does it look? Should probably have one station in Lithuania. One stationed here. One stationed about here. Someone stationed here. And someone stationed here. Why the hell not? So we have more units that we have deployed. These are mostly only garrisons because we're gonna need garrisons to fight revolts. I don't know if I should put these into some kind of a special force, but meh, gotta keep them like they are. Now we're wasting a lot of stuff on IC and all that. See, reinforcement, not needed. We're not needing on anything upgrades wise. So we need more production. As you can see, we have some submarines and carriers being built. We have some interceptors, a lot of transports for the invasion of Norway. My question is should I make more? Infantry or something like that. I must say, my army is pretty big right now. If I should make. Paratroopers sounds a lot interesting. Let's see, Panzer. No. No. Volkster. No. Yeah, we got some motorized now. Let's see, motorized. You can move at 8 km per hour. We should make some motorized divisions. And this time I'm gonna listen to my viewer. Let's see, motorized, you can drive at 8 km per hour. Should probably put some engineers to get some support. And we're gonna build five of these, make one full core. Start it up again. Can open it up a bit because it's going a bit slow right now. Take it out a bit more. Okay, basing. Okay, let's take that one bit because there's a lot of stuff happening at the same time. And uh, Soviet Union, trade shit. Who the fuck cares? I'm gonna conquer you soon. I will take Moscow. I will burn it to the ground. Sorry for you guys that live in Moscow. Let's see. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, it's you. 
Okay, so we have the SS Division Reich. I guess it's the Das Reich Division. We have the Leibstand SS Adolf Hitler. And we have the Totenkopf Division. These are pretty famous, actually. Get some kegs. I have no idea why kegs are getting finished up. I mean, why? I guess my carriers aren't finishing that fast. So I have to wait, wait to put those down. You know what? To put them down in Rostock. So they can get their organization up. Okay, let's see. Italy. Like what? Oh, I can't trade with them or do anything. Okay, we have to wait. Now the question is... Should we try to get, I mean, Hungary, Romania and Bulgaria to join us in the wars? I mean... They will not do, have... I mean, they don't have a lot of troops and they pretty much suck sports. And I mean, they have some good resources. Or at least, Romania. I mean... I have to think about that. Okay, we have the Japanese. We want to buy some Meshmeet 109F version. What the hell? Marines. We have some inter Oh, nice. Intercept version. Let's see. Where the hell should I put these? Put this into one big squad. This is gonna form the. Let's see, what the hell do I call my interceptors? Uh, first air wing, Jig 53. Okay, you're gonna get become the second air wing. What the fuck? I better sweat spell. Okay, air wing, something like that. Spell it wrong. Kristoffer, you're gonna get some better skills. Now we have the, the kegs here, nothing to worry about. You're gonna get put to the Obi West. What the hell happened now? Why the hell do I have some supply problems on these guys? I don't get it. One bit. Okay, central planning, light tank gun. That's some stuff finishing up. That's not supposed to. Stay on. Center planning. Where the hell is that? Okay, I clearly can't see. There it is. 1938. You're gonna stay on. <coughs> ah, sorry for that. Start it up again. Let's see. Who are you? Who are you? Just, yeah, the reinforcement. Light tank armor. Take you off the list. Wait, what? Those motherfuckers! The Netherlands has joined the Allies. That's not really that good, actually. Means I have to disturb my lines a bit more here. Clear wasn't ready for this. And I have a pencil ready. Now soon Belgium will... Wait, what? The Belgium? No, they didn't join. Good. Now the Netherlands actually took a problem from me, which is kinda... Uh, yeah, let's just say bad. Seems like they mobilized. Made some heavy stubborn resistance here. You know what? Let's take our new... Air wing, send them up. Get some air superiority over the Netherlands. We're also gonna get one of our bomber squads up here. So if we need, we're gonna bomb them. Okay, these guys are not getting the supplies that are needed. We will change you not now. Slow this down because there's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen. A bit of north. I don't know. 
Now we can start our invasion to the south. Start with our panzers moving over the border. That's a surprise. One infantry division is pushing back two of our panzer divisions. Highly, you suck balls. I'm gonna have to send in one of mine, or two of mine. Let's see, support attack. Do something like that. Still very bad. I mean, four divisions against one, and they're really bad. Should be easy. Have any fortresses? No. Not a good infrastructure. Where the hell are. Oh shit! Cancel your bloody orders. You took some high casualties, man. Or at least injuries. Uh, we're actually winning. Surprise, surprise. And if we can take the Netherlands, we can actually start attacking London and bomb the shit out of them. Should be fairly fun. Large font, light tank stuff. A lot of stuff finishing up. This is gonna have to be changed a bit. We're wait what? Stuff finished? No. What the fuck? Got any more production? It seems like we're gonna have industrial capacity. You know, let's build some industrial capacity. Let's make seven for series of three times. And technology, we're gonna take these ones off. Self-propelled brigades, gonna keep you on. Or we can take these kegs and move them. Something like that. So we don't have to get fooled. Okay, these guys made it over fast. Question is... Yes, we're gonna continue our attacks. You are gonna move over, something like that. You're gonna move over there. You're gonna move over there. Let's see which one of you are. Yes, you. You're gonna get moved over there, and you are gonna get moved something like this. You are gonna get moved something like that, and you're gonna get moved something like. This, if you will follow my orders. Let's see, tactical bombers, you're gonna try to help these guys succeed. You guys are gonna get some. Okay, you're not gonna get some edge priority. Why the hell won't you? Okay, your range is really bad. Must be the fuel problems. Okay, I guess you guys have to make it on your own. I guess the livestock division led by Jacob, my own brother, it seems like. Should be pretty easy. But we're gonna end it here on a cliffhanger how the invasion on the west should do. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment and maybe subscribe for more content. So I'm gonna see you in the next part.